that right now as we speak, there is a deep, a wide, and a very aggressive panic in the Democratic Party. It started minutes into the debate, and it continues right now. It involves party strategists, it involves elected officials, it involves fundraisers. And they're having conversations about the president's performance, which they think was dismal, which they think will hurt other people down the party in the ticket. And they're having conversations about what they should do about it. Some of those conversations include, should we go to the White House and ask the president to step aside? Others are, other of the conversations are about, should prominent Democrats go public with that call? because they feel this debate was so terrible. That's CNN in panic mode after Biden crumbled at last night's presidential debate moderated by, oh, that's right, CNN. Welcome to NERC News, I'm Nurkish, and it looks like even with the help of liberal shill Jake Tapper, CNN couldn't salvage Biden from the wreckage of his own poor performance. I guess all those days he spent training for the debate and standing for 90 minutes at a time didn't help much. After his performance, uh, it has really set off panic. Uh, there was one Democratic congressman I was in touch with who was on Capitol Hill at a watch party with a number of other lawmakers. And that moment uh, early on in the debate where President Biden was talking about the national debt and seemed to lose his train of thought, uh, paused for several seconds and then gave a, a confusing answer. Uh, he said that when that happened, the the entire room was just completely silent and in shock and that this member's own reaction was that he wanted to jump off of a bridge. Uh, and he said that throughout the course of the 90 minutes of the debate, uh, he and the other lawmakers in the room felt like Donald Trump looked young and Joe Biden looked uh, old and that Donald Trump seemed to mostly be on the offensive and that uh, Joe Biden seemed to be mostly on the defense. Uh, Democrats, he said, are just panicked right now and don't even know uh, what to do. I mean, these are some really devastating reviews for a Biden campaign that really wanted to use tonight to dispel this notion that President Biden is too old for a second term. Jump off a bridge. Sounds more like what the Clintons and Obamas want to do to Joe after this debate. Because suddenly all of establishment media is buzzing about Joe stepping down, which was probably the purpose of this whole televised humiliation ritual in the first place. Here's the fellas at CNN discussing this very possibility. We heard the partisan panel start to wistfully look in the air and talk about what if he wasn't on the ticket. And I think that kind of language and the kinds of things that you're going to see over the next... 24 hours is really going to be the important conversation. This debate was early. Is it early enough for there mm -hmm. to be some other discussion more fulsome, taken more seriously? And we'll find that out. And, and one of the questions I have is, who, if, if, if Joe and Jill Biden don't make that decision on their own, mm -hmm. is there anybody in the party? Because you know, the party's system has been so weakened. There were a group of people that came to Richard Nixon in August of 1974 and said, you know what, you got to leave. You're, we don't, you don't have, you have four votes in the, mm -hmm. in the Senate and you either resign or you're going to be removed from office. I'm not sure there's anybody with that kind of authority in the Democratic Party who could mm -hmm. go to Joe Biden and say, it's time to say goodbye. And they said that President Biden ha had a cold and that he was recovering from that. Yeah. I mean, that came about 50 minutes into the, into debate, the debate after yeah. he had been on. Obviously, they're passing that on on background to reporters who are tweeting it. Voters who are watching at home, millions of them who have never even considered having a Twitter account, are not going to see that. And you know, you can tell how networks like CNN and MSNBC are fading in relevance because they're not even up to date on the narrative. At least Newsweek was creative enough to suggest that both candidates were off because they were on stimulants. Even though Trump seemed fine and was the one who requested a drug test prior to the debate that Biden declined to take. But on the bright side, CNN did provide us with this hilarious clip of them reluctantly fact-checking their beloved cadaver-in-chief. He's the only president in a while who didn't have any troops dying anywhere in the world. Troops have, of course, died on his watch. He said he's put in a $15 per shot cap on insulin and Medicare. It's a $35 a month cap. He said it's a $200 cap on overall drug spending in Medicare. It's $2,000 a year. He said the border now has fewer crossings than when Trump was in office. That's generally not true. He said, or at least strongly suggested, unemployment was at 15% when he took office. It was actually 6.4. He said Trump's wa Trump wants to get rid of Social Security. Trump doesn't. He said billionaires pay 8.2% percent in taxes. It's much higher. He said Trump told Americans to inject bleach amid COVID. We know Trump made foolish comments about scientists studying disinfectant injection, but didn't frame it as advice to people. And Biden said the Border Patrol endorsed him. No, it's union supported the border bill he supported, never endorsed him himself. 
You know, it's funny how whenever they accuse Trump of lying, it's mostly him talking about some subjective nonsense or exaggerating and bragging about stuff. But when Biden lies, it's insulting because it's just full-blown BS that we can easily look up. Like him doubling the inflation rate or repeatedly saying that Trump told Americans to inject bleach that it would all be fine. I mean, he said that in a campaign ad with Nancy Pelosi and Obama standing right next to him. It's absolutely insane. But let me know what you think. Was Biden's performance unexpected for Democrats, or is it all a ruse to swap him for Hillary, Newsom, or Michelle? Let me know in the comments, and if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. This stuff really does help us out. Until then, this has been Nerk News. Thanks for watching. Bye!